I guess it's both. I mean, we never set out to make Toronto, but in a way we kind of did. Um, we set out, you know, often, and we tried to be very sensitive to uh, the areas we were moving around. Uh, we never necessarily sat down and photographed this building or that building to recreate it, um, but, you know, buildings that impressed, impressed upon us, um, inevitably made it into this. Um, I was also just looking at books of Chicago, um, books about Cleveland, um, kind of cities around, around the Great Lakes. It's a work in progress. <laughs> it's the first time that this is going to be up in front of an audience. So it's, it's hot. It's hot. It's, uh, hot. it's, it's, it's new. <laughs> <laughs> it's just really exciting for us to, um, to, to have the set and to really try to integrate the movement that Alicia and I have been doing in studio with the work that uh, Simon and Alex have been doing in their own studio. Uh, and as for another life after Hatch, um, We've applied for a couple of conferences to um, show the set as an installation on its own so that it has a life. Um, and we're just excited to see where, where the project goes. I think that in the most simplest terms, we're hoping that this will be an invitation to people to be uh, conscious of how they feel as they move about their daily life. Um, and it really is that simple. <laughs> Well, the room goes boom to the sound of temptations and more Twisting and turning 